Right now on another breaking story, we're following out of Panaka, which was rattled by a powerful pair of explosions yesterday. It's unimaginable uh, what this community and what this family has gone through, and we're going to be very thankful for the miracle that nobody was hurt. Chopper 13, fast and first over the scene to give you a clear view of the damage around the blast zone. And we're now getting our first look at the suspected bomber following that car explosion that has now led investigators to a second site in Kingman, Arizona, where they found more than 40 pounds of explosives in an RV. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is standing by in Kingman, but first let's head out to 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi in Panaka with new details from witnesses. Masa. Leslie, the governor was here today. When asked if he considered this an act of domestic terror, he didn't really have an answer tonight. We don't know why this devastating blast happened, but we do know exactly what happened. We are going to rewind you now an hour before this explosion, retracing every single step of the suspect. Did you have any indication he was going to do this? No, not in the least bit, not at all. Suspected bomber Glenn Jones stopping by the house of this friend Wednesday night. 60 minutes later, the small town of Panaka rocked to its core. It just became orange and kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Cell phone video capturing the aftermath. Right before the flames, a neighbor saw commotion. The victim's kids hopping on their bikes, suddenly taking off. Then the blast, the body parts. I was still looking for people. His father, right where he's been for 83 years. You were sitting right here. Right. Things were flying around. Flying right into the home of veteran Wendell Cowart. His windows shattered, his house destroyed, but his concern? My wife just had knee surgery, so my main intention was to get her out of there. Today, the cleanup continues. The family that was targeted, shaken up, but leaning on each other, the community, and the governor for support. Thankfully, no one but the suspected bomber was killed. Still, we asked if the state emergency response in this remote town was sufficient. It worked. I mean, they, they drill, they practice, and the, the resources that were necessary were here immediately. And the family was able to escape in the nick of time. They ran to the house of friends living nearby. Coming up at 6, you're going to hear what they told those friends about what the suspect said to them only right here on 13 Action News. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Back to you guys in studio. Thanks, Masa. Let's head right out now to Kingman, Arizona, where investigators found an RV linked to Glenn Jones full of explosives. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King is there live with the latest. Chris. Investigators are scouring this RV park. This is the Zuni Village RV park. They're especially interested in a storage unit and an RV owned by the accused uh, bomber. And they've cleared up this area as a precaution. Now police are scouring this RP RV park here in Kingman. This is where Glenn Jones lived for six months. Investigators say Jones set off the deadly blast in Panaka. So far, they found 40 pounds of explosives, some already assembled in his RV. Authorities evacuated the park last night. Tony Jenkins says he wants police to do a thorough job before he goes back. I don't want to go home unless they tell us they've looked and found out. They still got to go through a storage shed. I mean, there's a lot of trailers down there. Many of the people who live here are staying with or staying at the Kingman High School. A manager tells 13 Action News Jones was angry with his former employer. Now, as for that storage unit, police are still looking at the RV and uh, the storage unit, and we hope to get back there and have a look ourselves later on. And we'll have more for you on this very chilling story coming up at 6 o'clock. We're live in Kingman, Arizona. Christopher King, 13 Action News. All right. Thank